Hello Gems, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all the new people who have joined. Thanks to you, I'm nearly close to my yearly target of 5,000 subscribers and I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much much for joining this small community um you know we're trying to grow here from brokenness to wholeness so thank you once again we're going to get into what jamal said um in the ig live that i came across i've been doing some digging just for you <laughs> and for me <laughs> but yeah before we get into that obviously you've read the title and no this isn't like a pick me move or anything like that um just hear me out it's my aim to be as objective as rational and as unbiased and also not projecting my own past experiences with um dating a narcissist being in a relationship with a narcissist onto Paul okay so please hear me out whilst I build this case because for all you know we are still in the social experiment they said they went to a social experiment but I'm thinking we the public we're the social experiment okay so hear me out so the thing with narcissists, okay, in narcissists, we already know that they lack empathy. And I think one of the reasons why a lot of people are not believing Paul um, in the previous video um, that I've just posted, um, the reason they're not believing him is in that video, he lacked empathy. He failed to convey um, that he could genuinely relate or understand why people are triggered um, and why people are upset. I had hoped that he would say something along the lines of, hey people, I know how traumatic or I'm aware and understand how traumatic and triggering um, NPD, um, dealing with people with NPD, i.e. narcissistic personality disorder, how traumatizing that experience can be. When I got the character, you know, when I got the script, um, I had to fully embody it and make it as real as possible so that if you were watching Watching and you could see my traits in your partner then you would run for the hills okay so that is why you played it the way you played that will show that you have empathy you understand the person on the other um, side of the TV or other side of the computer tuning in onto the show and why they will be upset because they believe that character on the screen. So essentially, whilst you're out of character, being able to demonstrate that you understand their plight, you understand their pain, but you only did it for their betterment, <laughs> that would have been great. Um, I don't, I'm not saying that that would have won people back to your side, but I'm just saying that that would have demonstrated that at least you understand um, something and you didn't just go in there just for acting or blase. Because he wasn't able to demonstrate this, he further proved the point that he could be a narcissist because all he did was deflect, you know, and there wasn't any real concrete reason as to why um, he took on the role, you know, like he had no understanding of the role, but he played it so well, which in a way that just shows that he's a very talented young man. However, that's just not what, um, that's not how it came across right and i'm gonna get into that in a moment now to the part where um i think at this moment in time um he's a young man that is unprotected here's my case <laughs> don't crucify me <laughs> he um as well as many other black men who are actors they've played their roles so so well to the point where they are still paying for their sins <laughs> they're living the aftermath these men on the screen it's like as a black man you do not have the full freedom to follow your dreams and do a great job at it to a certain extent because for all you know the role that you took is triggering someone somewhere due to the fact that you did such a great job now like paul and many of these men what they need to understand is one they just need to take ownership of that role and their part to play in it and how well they did and just continue to be grounded in who they are aside from the character that they played 
and surround yourself with su a supportive circle because the uproar that these men, including uh, Paul, um, have literally erupted in the community. Um, I don't think it's going to go down anytime soon, especially for Paul, at least in um, the UK. <laughs> Understanding that all the choices that you make come with consequences. Obviously, all of the choices that we make in this world, in this life, have consequences. But you, your, your choices to be an actor and to do such a great job, it has consequences. Now, is it your responsibility? Mm, not necessarily, but it is what it is, right? Now, Paul, if you're watching this, people are not upset at you, okay? Necessarily. <laughs> some are because pe some people struggle to separate the two characters especially if you are innocent I'm gonna get to that in a minute people are not upset with you directly okay they are upset at the fact that they see their partners through the character that you played maybe they're still with those partners and they've been feeling crazy all along but now that you play the role so well it's reminded them you know they're reliving their traumas again and as a result you are the one that's going to bear the wrath essentially so for them to then accept the fact that all of this was fake is to deny them of their own reality it's like they're gaslighting themselves they are denying their own traumas that they have experienced with a narcissistic partner. And all these traumas were ignited throughout all those six episodes, okay? <laughs> this is what's happened. They invested their emotions and their time. And for once, everything made sense. They were no longer the crazy one in that relationship. It was their narcissistic partner all along. Now, this realization is so profound because I know I was in a fog for a long time until I realized what it is I was in. Um, so I can empathize with people who have related to the show so well that it's triggered them to this point, um, to the point where they cannot say, do you know what, it was fake because it's just that real to them in their own life and in their own experiences. So to deny that realization is, is essentially to say that what they experienced wasn't real, you know? And of course, this isn't your cross to bear. For people like that, I recommend therapy. Get some therapy so that you can work through those traumas. So that you're not projecting onto someone who is genuinely trying to pursue an acting career. So yeah, that's why people are dragging you and they will continue to drag you unfortunately you need to understand that they couldn't possibly stand up to their narcissistic partner they just couldn't most of them cannot muster enough courage to stand up to them because they will struggle to um, stay in a composed and self-regulated stance so they'd rather dish out or vent or project that pain and anger to you it's more comforting because you're you're somewhere else you know they can just keyboard warrior and do their thing let out their frustration i totally understand both parties now for the people who are literally spreading unkind words directly to paul whether he is a narcissist or not calling him names doesn't make you feel any better from your own experiences let's remember to be kind let's remember caroline flack and all those people that took their own lives from love island and all those we do not even know names for okay let's just be kind online regardless of whatever realization we have come to because if he is innocent and everyone is still playing along um, until they can cash in on the check from the aftermath and the program for all we know if he is innocent he is probably going through a lot of mental um, stress at this moment in time and if he's not then hey he fooled us right because <laughs> that's what the narcissist does <laughs> you know so i'm just trying to play both camps here just so that we can be a little bit more gentle online okay because our beef isn't with Paul, essentially. Our beef is with the partner who is sitting right next to us. Yeah. Now let's get into what Jamel said.
if you want to ask a question, please come up before. Um, I think, um, yes, you already said this is real, guys. You already said it's real. 80% real. Um, and the rest could be. So 80% of blue therapy is real. I'm guessing the 20% was obviously for the ent entertainment purposes, um, as well as obviously Denise um, being the actress. Um, but yeah, he mentioned something about Denise after. Let's just keep going. Hi, Jamal. Hi. Hello, hello, Hi. hello. Um, okay, so I wanted to ask, um, quickly, I just joined this live here. So I wanted to ask, um, there was a video that Paul, um, put up about the acting and stuff. I just wanted to know if that was real, like if the whole thing was um, acting or oh. fake. I'm gonna ask you this question. Do you think I'm an actor? Well, personally, I, I, I actually think it's not fake because yeah. um, I watched the whole episodes and stuff, but because obviously Paul is the one, the only one coming out and um, saying stuff like that. So I just wanted to confirm that if it's real or not, because the internet is buzzing. Like, that's, do you know what it is? I feel like Paul's probably just pressed. You know how people deal with trolls? This is one way of dealing with trolls. People just pop you and come up and be like, oh my gosh, this, this, and that, and that, and that. This is a perfect example. Like, people can't deal with social media. Well, like everyone deals with social media the same way. So I feel like this is how he's dealing with social media. Me, I'm re like relaxed, cool, whatever you want to say. That's not my identity. So you can't really twist and bend into my, what's my identity. I know you like me as a person, and whatever you say, if it's not aligning with my identity, I'm not gonna go mad about it. So like, mm. if, if he's, he's probably coming out like, I'll say, yeah, I'm an actor, this is that, etc., etc. If he's an actor, yeah, why is it only now that he's revealing it? Because if he was really an actor and trying to get more gigs and stuff like that, yeah, you like, be talking about like more times you're talking about clients. So what? Mm. Are you what, now focusing on being an actor rather than collecting more clients? So which one is it? It's like we just catch it. Okay. So are you yeah. and Deborah still together? That's correct. Okay. Alright, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 See you later. Interesting. Uh, and I've built a whole case for Paul. <laughs> I guess it's not just for Paul, it's for any other person who feels like they can't uh, follow their dreams or be um, all they are because of um, public backlash, so to speak. This is so interesting. Are you believing Jamel? Do you think he's still acting? <laughs> I'm not one to get consumed by these kind of things. Okay. However, um, I think because the t um, the subjects and the topics that they touched upon um, fall in line with my passions, things that I aim to help people um, uncover on this channel. That's why I've been so invested. And obviously, just like you, I was gutted when I found out that the couples were not real. But now it's kind of like, it's coming back to me. <laughs> Let's go. Hi. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Awesome. Go ahead. Hi. So, um, so I was I was wondering why you called Deborah a harlot. Oh, I asked you this question earlier now because it's just do you know what it was? I think it was just within that moment. Obviously, I can take it back now and obviously I don't mean that. But within that moment, it's like I can't believe you just said that to me. Do you get what I mean? I, yeah. I know it's I know it's savage, and sometimes when you're in that moment, it's like. That's the first thing that came to my head, and it's like, no, that's that's really. Yeah. Is there like a reason why you think Nigerians are loud? Do you know what it is? I didn't say Nigerians are loud. I think I was doing comparison in terms of Ghanaians to Nigerians, and I was specifying that Deborah is more loud. <laughs> and basically, Deborah stands or represents all of Nigeria. If you're Nigerian, um. Do you think you're loud? <laughs> but I do think Nigerians are louder than Ghanaians and I don't mean any disrespect by that. I just love Nigerian banter. I know as Ghanaians we're very funny 
but nah nigerians have got this extra spice i think it's just the way they package their english and their sentences it's just so funny <laughs> I haven't watched the aftermath um, and I think that's probably where he called her a harlot I'm assuming um, I could be wrong but yeah let's just keep going Are you going to the acting? No I'm talking to Paul well, apart from your fitness you said Paul like and some marketing what else are you going to consider acting? No I wouldn't That's something you like to I, do I can't act <laughs> Me personally I can't act I personally don't think I can act even if I tried, I don't think I can act. Like, like my, the way my mind works as well, I don't think I can read lines and remember like lines in this. Mm -mm, I don't think that's my style. You were acting or withholding information um, that you'd slept with your um, ex all along for five episodes. Even if you're not acting, you're lying. Everybody is capable of putting on an act to preserve their image, to preserve their self, to preserve their ego. So you do know how to act. Maybe you're not pursuing it as a career, but you're capable of acting. Let's go. Hello. 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 Uh, basically, I just have one question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is it true that blue therapy is scripted? It's not scripted. I, it's not scripted. I explained this, and, uh, I explained this and, uh, I didn't laugh. Right, because everyone's talking about it, and Paul also posted a video. Yeah, Paul posted a video saying that it was like, um, that he, he was speaking about his role and everything. And he was saying that it was like scripted and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Hmm. Now that I don't believe. So you so you took time out of your work schedule to just go do a social experiment with your girlfriend and you basically worked for free. Meanwhile, um the show has received so many views, over millions of views. Chances are they've made over thousands of pounds i mean 100k plus six figures i i would not be surprised if they've made that and you're saying you're not getting anything not even hourly pay i smell something fishy something fishy going down Something fishy, something fishy going down, something fishy. Mm, someone is not telling the truth. <laughs> Let's go. Someone said, do you think that um, your, do you feel the therapy helped your relationship and your, um, and yourself individually? Did it help your relationship? Uh, so, funny enough, I don't know if you realize, I went to therapy for eight months by myself. So, I would say I'm mm. happy to get therapy. Um, a lot of times, a lot of black people, especially black people, like they're just very, very scared to do therapy, and there's almost like a taboo to do therapy. But uh, how can I say? I can't wear this. Um, well, first things first, therapy is not for everyone. Um, but when you do go therapy, be be mindful that you have to be aware or develop awareness, and be prepared to break yourself down to the core, or you're just never gonna allow yourself to the benefits of therapy Did you get it? yeah i think that's a i think that's a very important point that he's made there and you know on my channel here i'm i'm a big advocate for that and even if you don't want to do therapy per se surround yourself with people who help you explore your emotions better not necessarily sitting in your emotions but 
they help you process your emotions, you definitely need a circle of people who help you do that. I'm happy that um, as a man, uh, you know, he's a big advocate for therapy uh, because I think in our community is not really something that's um, greatly encouraged. Now, the, there was information going around that the therapist, Denise, was an actress. Is that true? Okay, that's true. But when we when we shot everything, we didn't know. So we found out. We were like, same time you lot found out, the same, same time we found out. Wow, so you guys didn't know as an actress? Nope, we didn't know. So we just watched the therapist. Right. That's very interesting, right? What is going on? Who do you believe? I'm torn. <laughs> I know people are going to be in my comments like, Jemima, we told you so. Jemima, we told you so. Uh, I just didn't want to project. I wanted to be as objective as possible. But I don't know, for some reason, I don't believe I'm biased towards him because he's Ghanaian. Maybe I am. Um, yeah, his whole demeanour isn't striking me as someone who is acting in this IG live. If he is, then he's, he's an amazing actor. Even better than Paul. Like this just strikes me as someone having a conversation and the things he's saying, um, you know, they're asking him about his relationship with Deborah and it kind of matches with what transpired in the therapy office. So I'm more inclined to believe that they were real. But I know some people have said that online, none of the couples actually have each other on their um, timeline. Um, I can I can see why people will think that it's still fake because they don't share each other's lives online. Um, but at the same time, obviously, some couples do prefer not to share their significant others on there for reasons that they prefer to keep to themselves. Oh, I'm just so t I don't know. Why am I so invested? Why am I so invested? I'm just I kind of just want to crack some kind of code. Anyway, let's go. Are you still buying expensive gifts? Um, and are you in love with Deborah? I mean, I don't think I'm in love. Um, but in terms of gifts and stuff like that, chop love before life chops you, man. <laughs> Just enjoy life. So you're in love with Deborah? I don't. In, in love and love Deborah is two different things. So you love her, but you're not in love with her? Yeah. I've got love with Deborah. All right, Paul. Well, yeah, that's that's a Why does she keep referring to him as Paul? I think she's traumatized. <laughs> I think the point he made about being in love and um, loving someone um, is quite interesting because I think probably where he's going with that is, you know, when you're in love with somebody, um, most of the time you take just your heart with you and don't take your, your head along as well um when you love somebody you understand that it's about responsibilities taking accountability um and it's about duties um and it's about serving each other you know whereas in love you can easily fall out of love oh, that's it that's it thank you so much for coming okay did i say paul because i'm seeing his name in the just <laughs> me sorry no it's, it's cool man yeah, I'm going to end it there because my camera keeps making noise and my battery is running low. But essentially, it seems as though the show was real after all. And um, Paul putting that video out, the one that I reacted to or, and we discussed not too long ago, um, earlier on in the week, it just seems like it was just a deflection, as narcissists do. <laughs> And if he isn't a narcissist, either way, he's feeling some type of heat that he did not factor it, uh, factor into um, his whole acting career or um, behavior, so to speak, i.e. him lacking some sort of self-awareness. Um, so it's all come as a shock to him. Hence the reason why he probably panicked and, make, and made that video. Now, what are your thoughts, people? What are your thoughts? Are you still on the fence or now you're 100% you're um, on the camp that Blue Therapy was absolutely real? The only person who was an actress or the only person that was acting was Denise. 
which camp are you on? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry. As for me, I don't know. I'm going to reserve my comments for the comment section um, because I love reading your comments. I love it when we're able to have a healthy dialogue because some of you are coming, you people are coming with essays and I love it. I love reading it because it helps me understand people a lot more, how people process things and yeah, it gives you different perspectives and yeah. It helps you gain insight into how people's brains work. So yeah, that's, uh, I love stuff like that. So make sure you do hit the like button and obviously please dump all your thoughts and perspectives in the comments. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button and let's hit that 5K. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.